Hey y'all, this is Adam. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Try it Barbecue. Today, I'm gonna do something simple and good. Y'all gonna like it. Check this out. What I got is some Chuck steaks or Chuck eye steaks or however you butcher labels them. And I'm just gonna do them simple. Salt, garlic, pepper, the good stuff. Now people say that these are the poor man's ribeye. And I've actually had people tell me that you can't get no other steak like tender as a ribeye. Well, guess what? I'm gonna show y'all today. There we go, y'all. Got these things seasoned up real good. Salt, pepper, garlic. Nice and simple. We'll go out here and get the grill fired up. Let these sit here and chill for a minute. And uh, we'll be right back. Here we go, y'all. Got these things on the grill now. Got a good, hot, hot bed of coals. I'm just gonna set them over here in direct, let them warm up good, and uh, I'm gonna sear them off at the end. And uh, yeah, it's been raining. So freaking what? People say you can't grill in the rain. I say bull dookie to that. I do what I want to. I'm a grown man. Ain't nothing gonna stop me from grilling. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. Reminds me of my army days. They say if it ain't raining, you ain't training. By God, I might not be training, but I'm grilling and drinking. And it's a good day to be alive. All right, y'all, I've been letting these things roll indirect for a little while. Look at there, look at there, look at there. Ah, uh, man. These smaller ones right here, my temperature is a little bit higher on the inside. I think it's an internal of uh, 120 something. These right here are right around 110-ish, 115 in between there. And uh, I'm gonna sear them both, or sear, I'm gonna sear all four of them. But I'm gonna sear them over here for about two minutes on each side. And hopefully that'll give us the perfect doneness on the inside. Let's get to searing some meat. These are my two big ones. Man, I, can y'all hear that? Can y'all hear that sound? Ah, oh, that sound is just satisfying. Now I'm gonna let these go for about two minutes. Give me two minutes, I'll be right back. Man, this is looking good, y'all. God, this is looking good. That's about two minutes on that side. I don't flip it over, let it go on the other side, and uh, I'll catch y'all back at the cutting board. All right, y'all. Let's see. Uh, you see, these are the two smaller ones. Like, that's gonna be the kids to. They they good, but they ain't cooked uh, a good medium like I like it. But here we go. And look at that. You can't tell me that steak ain't as juicy. There's a ribeye. Well, that's the whole point of this video, is to show you that you ain't got to spin no arm and a leg to get good steak. I hope y'all can see that. Let me, let me try to try to spread this out. Oh man, that is good. <clears throat> that is good. That's what I'm talking about, folks. We'll be right back for a taste test. I'm just kidding. I just got done telling my wife I do what I want. <laughs> if if you mad, you know that ain't true. Look at this, y'all. Golly, <laughs> that's a juicy piece of steak. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. You ain't got to spend no arm and a leg to get no good steak. Mm. That just should run, run down your arm from just one piece. 
Oh my god, it's so good. Give me some. Like and subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. I got to eat.